Right, well, uh, we uh, we continue building uh, the jig for uh, the the wing of the of the yak uh, that I'm building uh, from wings on strings. Uh, nice kit. Uh, so, you know, typically when you lay out the wing, uh, the inboard um, uh, wing is a little bit longer than the outboard, and uh, the way um, most designers kind of uh, lay out the ribs is they make the ribs on the inboard spaced a little bit more than the outboard so you have the same number of ribs and uh, and there's and the difference in spacing is is so small you can't really tell that one wing is, is longer than the other um, in this particular uh, model the wing is, uh, is about a uh, three quarters of an inch uh, shorter um, and the way they do it is uh, on the inboard the ribs uh, are spaced by an uh, inch and seven eighths, and the outboard is spaced at an uh, inch and uh, three quarters. So, uh, we're going to lay it out on the jig. So, you see that I had the same plants that I had earlier. I just hung them on the wall. Um, if you go to Home Depot, they have this tape. It's uh, high tacking, or whatever. It's, it's, it's the tape that you never want to use for uh, masking as a masking tape because it, it's sticky. But it's great for uh, for uh, just hanging uh, temporary hanging uh, plans up on the on the cement wall. So here's the jig. As you can see, I, I just uh, it was the the MDF board. I attached the jig with the trailing edge. It's a straight edge. Uh, now I didn't want to uh, impact too much in terms of um, um, keeping the trailing edge straight. So I just pinned it to the back by just drilling a uh, uh, quarter inch holes and uh, putting uh, quarter inch dowels in there I put a little bit of glue just to keep it so it doesn't slide around but it'll pop off if I if I pull on it so what we did what I, what I did is since we figured out that the wing is uh, uh, a quarter uh, three quarters of an inch shorter on the outboard what I did is I found uh, the center um, kind of smack in the middle of the 48 but since one side is going to be a little bit longer than the other I can't really go 24 inches and 24 inches on the other side it's actually going to be uh, more like you know almost 25 inches and 23 inches on the on the inboard so I just kind of found the center line and then just move the center line over to the right um, by three quarters of an inch and then from that point here's our center line the new center line and as you can see, I started marking. There's a little markers here, right? These are uh, so I marked them on the inside and on the outside, different spacings, right? An inch and seven eighth, and inch and three quarters. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to take uh, one of those uh, carpenter's uh, angles or triangles and draw lines that are going to go all the way forward, just like the center line. So. This way, I'm actually going to have a line on which I'm going to line up the ribs. So, after we do that, we're going to take our tip and the, the root ribs, and we're kind of use, going to use them as a guide um, to lay out the leading edge and the, these leading edge cradles that we're going to glue. Now, uh, we, I could have went by the plans uh, and just kind of measured what the distances should be. Um, but I find it even, you know, when you take a, a set of plans and you try to uh, match them up exactly to the kit, sometimes there's a, a little bit of play. So, uh, you know, the, the, the for example, laser cutters, right, there's a, there's a width of the, the laser um, beam that can uh, move things back and forth by a 64th of an inch. Multi you know, double it since you have the, you're cutting the leading edge and the trailing edge, you, you end up with uh, a little bit of uh, loose um, you know the, the, the uh, parts may not be completely tight so in this case it's it's okay to just kind of um, you know uh, base it not on what's on the plans but rather what the ribs are telling you so that's why I'm gonna take the root the tip put the uh, and and then draw the line uh, just by I can take here's the this is where it's gonna be the starting point for uh, the rib for the root and same thing I'm gonna do at the tip and uh, right right there and that's and then I'll just straight line 
and that's where uh, that's how I'm just I'm I'm gonna do that. So we'll see what happens.